activated to that double portion come up on the Lord, and that anointing, Lord, and we just take all that we have and all that we are, and we invest it in them now, Lord, that sevenfold anointing with the third reformation, anointing God, we charge right now in Jesus' name, we activate and impart and unite our faith with them, and Lord, now when the devil attacks them, he's attacking all of us thousands around the world. And Lord, we're one body, one faith in you. So Lord, we agree and decree that the double portion is going to be upon them, and the sevenfold and tenfold anointing is going to be upon them. And Lord, right now, we release your purpose and your destiny, and we call forth that apostolic gift that you put within both of them, that now the signs, wonders, and miracles will come forth so powerfully that they'll see outstanding and unusual miracles and there will be such a miracle ministry that God will even uh, amaze their flesh and, and excite their spirit and, and they will dare to believe for the impossible. Lord, from this day forward, we release that gift of faith, that apostolic faith and miracles in them now. In Jesus' name, we command it to come forth, activate and begin to perform and fulfill. We are ordain them and receive them and activate them and call them forth right now as one family and you that we will go forth and do your will. And the Lord says, son and daughter, fear not and fret not. You're going to see more accomplished in the next 10 years than you've seen in the rest of your life. Because I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to expand. You're going to be like Samson. You'll kill more of your enemy in your last acts than you did all the rest of your life. You're going to come forth in my power and my anointing. And now you're going to have favor and anointing and grace upon you. If you have anything you know now and have known in the past, because I've answered your prayers. I've, I know the vision I gave you. I know the call I have upon you. I know the work I want you to do. And I ordain this day to release you with that double portion, with that triple anointing that would go forth and accomplish all my work. And Lord, I put that reproducing anointing in them now, that they'll raise up and reproduce. Raise up and reproduce leaders and apostles and prophets and pastors, pastors and teachers. God, I am part now and activate it to come forward and be a, a, a natural, a divine anointing that flows through them. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it. Amen and amen. Amen. New strategy, and he's giving you a new empowerment, even as Bishop was saying about reproducing. And he's even giving you a place there in Guatemala. So where it's been a receiving place, it's going to become a sending place. And even some of those you've been raising up, he said, Lord, it's difficult, and uh, they don't really understand, and there's so many things they still need. But God says, we're about to make the transition, and now if I could send my apostles in three years, you can too. The Lord says, I'm going to be sending, and the Guatemalans are going to be going forth, and you're going to see the sons that you've raised, raising sons, all through Latin America, even into Africa. And I just see them traveling and going and saying, we're bringing the word of the Lord and our Father's heart, and we're going forth with power and demonstration in the name of the Lord. And the moment said, Son and daughter, even as Jesus at the wedding of Cana would have stepped into his role of the miraculous, and it would have been in a provisional way, the moment said that I'm going to give you an anointing to multiply the fishes and the loaves in a very natural and real way sensible. And so the Lord would say that you shall see that natural, provisional yes. miracle happen over and over and over again. An extension of the things where you say, God, I, we don't know if we have enough to do all we need. And as you start to even distribute, you'll see the multiplication happen in a very great way. And the Lord would say, I'm also going to visit you and confirm your ministry with natural miracles. And the Lord would say that even as on the day of Pentecost, there would have been a sound of a rushing mighty wind. The Lord would say that you shall know the wind of the Lord, not only in the spirit realm, but in the natural. And the Lord would say that even as you shall gather in meeting places, the Lord would say that I'm going to confirm my presence by a mighty rushing wind, uh, even through the tents at times, through the treetops at times. And the Lord would say it shall be a sign and a wonder uh, for those that gather and shall be a confirmation that I, the Lord thy God, am in their midst and reaching out to them, says the Lord. Amen. Well, I just hear uh, in my spirit that... Uh, uh, there's going to be a season here where it's almost like you're going to have to downsize your library. You're going to have to update uh, your archive material. And God says, I'm shifting you. The Lord said from uh, things that made sense to you years ago to the present truth. And God says, I'm going to give you new downloads of revelation, new downloads of impartation, 
I don't want you to be bound by a past theological or doctrinal issue or concept. God says that you are going to be a, a wave, a surfer, says the Lord, <laughs> and you will literally go from the wave you're on to the coming waves and the coming moves of my spirit. And that same promise that uh, you heard that brother testify this morning about that God gave him that he would know the coming moves of God. God says you're going to know uh, when to shift and how to shift, says the Lord. And God says, son and daughter, you're an apostolic prophetic team. And the Lord said, you're going to build, you're going to lay the, the new foundations, says the Lord. And I'm going to begin to open doors for you in the America as well as the nations. But God says, I'm healing the image of yourself and the way that you see yourself, says the Lord. And God says, I put a fire of revelation in you. I put a powerful demonstration through you, says yes. the Lord. And God says, yes. I'm activating your spirit now to be activators, even as we act activated last night, you're going to activate miracles, signs, and wonders. You'll activate the prophetic. And God says you're going to activate people into their place and their calling. And I just sense like uh, Guatemala is only one nation. And God says, I'm going to send you to many nations. And I'm even here in the first nations uh, be, uh, beginning to uh, open up to you. And God says, you're going to go into tribal lands that, that you've never been in. Uh, but I just sense there's some things that lay heavy, heavy on your heart. My goodness, it's just like the enemy had just almost tried to drop a, a bomb in the family and he tried to shatter and to scatter. But the Lord says, son and daughter, I'm not going to take you places and do things and you and your family sit on the sidelines, says the Lord. This will be a family ministry. It will be a family anointing, says the Lord. And I just see that some of your children and even spiritual children that are going to be places in the marketplace. They're going to have other areas of involvement, but they're going to be connected with you in heart and vision says the Lord. I see one of your children, God, is just going to begin to uh, give them a download in the, in, in the marketplace and, and even in, in governmental issues. And I, I just see where uh, the finances are going to begin to increase. They're going to be such a blessing to you. And God says, you have sown and given everything that you have. And, and God says that I, I'm going to begin to, I'm going to prove to be your Jehovah Jireh, says the Lord. And I will create a financial miracle and a financial provision for you, says the Lord. But God said, lift your sights higher. Stand tall, says the Lord. And God says, you're not you're not foreign children. You, you are true sons and daughters, and says the Lord. And God said, even this day, I plug you into that current. I plug you into that source, says the Lord. And there'll be a new flow of mm -hmm. anointing and that reproduced anointing I've ignited in the midst of you, says the Lord. Father, just Lord, given that update you right now. We activate the you need to anoint your home, you need to anoint your bank accounts, you need to anoint your records, and just uh, the, it is a fresh day, there's something about uh, drawing a line and positioning yourself for the new thing uh, that I'm doing in and through you. And I just, uh, while Bishop was ministering to you and, and uh, others, I just sensed uh, a strong word that, this is not going to be a long process, says the Lord. God said, I'm going to begin to move quickly in your behalf. The sending is going to be quick. The raising up is going to be quick. God said, things are going to begin to manifest quickly for you, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. God said, because I'm going to do a quick work and I have much for you to do. And God said, the latter years will be stronger mm -hmm. than the former years and the glory of the latter will be greater than the former, says the Lord. Father, charge and power and release them now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Also sense the Lord saying that uh, I always make the man and the woman before the ministry. Yes. And the Lord said, take that into your heart because you've been through much, saith the Lord. And it's been said to you, even through my other apostles, that the Lord would turn around and he made uh, provision for the ministry. He's made provision and given you much, but the Lord says there's even going to be releasing in that, saith the Lord, because it's going to free you even more. He yes. says, I'm going to give you those that can take care of the marketplace side. And the Lord said, because you're going to be in the deeper part of the ministry, saith God.
And the Lord said that as I do this, I will draw those that are be true uh, next to you, saith God. But the Lord says, be careful not to lay hands on anyone suddenly. Mm -hmm. Let me show you those, saith God. And the Lord says, because you have gone through the fire. And the Elijah anointing, that one that was in the whirlwind is why you even feel in the natural like you're in a whirlwind right now. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says, it's my whirlwind, saith God. Yes. And the Lord says, as you go up, he says, you will pass on that, saith God, because it will be an anointing that will reproduce after reproducing, saith God. And the Lord says, even now, he said, even daughter, that music, that, that, that anointing in that area that the Lord says that I have given you, it will now come like a symphony in the total thing that I am doing. And the Lord says, be that which I have called you to be. Yes, well, I think Bishop's writing some books for you, but one of the things that he will say is that uh, now your friends are our friends and your enemies are our enemies. Right? So we welcome you. How was that? You found a point of a couple of years ago that Pastor Sandra had to bring them back in relationship with us to renew our fellowship with them. Literally. <laughs> 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 <laughs>